Learn about a new policy change that could mean more money for you. Finally, we've got some incredible news for SSI and how much stimulus money just was sent out and who went who it went to how lawmakers are finally agreeing on that for stimulus check exciting news there and how you might get another sixteen thousand dollars in stimulus money find out the details also find out a representative is saying about biden's eviction moratorium what it means and how two school districts are defying their state mask mandate protocols Woo, some fighting all over the place some people not being rebels out there. Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you're having a soothing Sunday. Here's your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, your fourth stimulus check. Some people, it's their fifth stimulus check, executive order and executive stimulus package. Update for Sunday, August 15th, 2020. 50 years ago today, we were taken off the Britain Woods Agreement, meaning we were taken off of the gold standard. Today is the anniversary of that. August 15th, 1971. I was one years old. I remember it like yesterday. My goal in these videos is to give you the best information to access government and private money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. So stay tuned to the channel for personal finance videos, real estate, crypto, credit, and other investments to generate income, save you loads of money. Also, there's a, a link for loans, 12 different loan programs, 75 different banks, SBA, 504, 7As, and also interest rates as low as 2.86 absolutely incredible make sure you check it out also i'm giving away two thousand dollars right now all you've got to do subscribe like and comment it's that easy you join the family and you smash the like button i hope because you enjoy the content and throw a comment in there so we can talk give me your thoughts and you enter yourself to win two thousand dollars when we hit two hundred thousand subscribers we're going to pick a random comment grab your stocks down below just click on the link free stocks valued up to 2300 bucks no catch also, check out my real estate program, $10,000 course. No kidding. The information is valued at 10 grand. It's a $99 course. I put the code boom in there to automatically discount it. When to buy, how to buy, uh, how to use, how to not even use your own credit, where to get cheap money, what asset classes to buy, what market cycle. So you know, you don't have to count on people to tell you when to buy. You'll know. 36 videos. I spent $45 million making all the mistakes myself so you don't have to. It's how I do all this stuff. It isn't from a YouTube channel. It's from real estate, folks. Check me out on A&E's Flipping Vegas Dream Home episode. You can watch it on, I think it's on Hulu. It's on lots of channels. But at any rate, check that out. It's pretty cool. Also, uh, thanks to my Patreon supporters for as little as $3. They support the channel, help us out, you know, and also five articles a week just for you, as well as a look under the hood of my investments. And also check out my second channel, it's uh, the Andrew Cartwright Show, loose format, podcast, and uh, just fun stuff over there. First off, let's talk about the good news from those who received their SSI benefits. The Social Security Administration did some tinkering and thinking, obviously, to their SSI policy. And now stimulus checks won't have any negative effect on your benefits. In other words... The economic impact payments are no longer considered income for SSI recipients. Finally, you guys, finally, I see in the comments all the stuff about how they've just neglected you. I'm so sorry. These EIP payments, economic impact payments will no longer be considered income for you SSI recipients, meaning they don't have to, you don't have to worry about SSI at all before if you got $2,000 in your possession at any time. You could miss out on your SSI benefits. Unbelievable, right? They just want to keep broke. No wonder why we have, uh, you know, senior discounts everywhere. Maybe we need more, like senior free. The uh, Social Security Administration said in their statement, we are reviewing SSI claims and other SSI records going back to the beginning of the pandemic to restore SSI payments for people whose SSI was affected. So if you have been affected, Great news for you. This policy change also applies to unemployment assistance, rental assistance, and other assistance programs as well. So if you're an SSI recipient and you were affected those, by those assistance programs, your SSI benefits are likely coming back to you. This is incredible. I wonder if uh, you didn't apply, if you can now apply for those other benefits and get them and not be affected. Interesting. Meanwhile, any Americans that are now receiving their second round of child tax credits 
How much did, how much have you, uh, how much has gone out so far? Do you know? We talked about it before, um, how child tax credit payments are scheduled to go out six payments of the 15th of each month. August was different though, since the scheduled 15th landed on today, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday the 15th, people started receiving their checks on Friday, uh, direct deposits. 36 million US families either have their checks through or their checks are in the mail. A grand total of $15 billion, however, due to an error by the IRS, most of you will not be receiving your stimulus checks through direct deposit. The agency, quote, wants to alert some recipients um, who received direct deposits in July that they will receive an August payments by mail due to um, an issue expected to be resolved by September payments. A percentage of those recipients, less than 15% who receive payments um, by direct deposit in July, will be mailed a paper check for August payments. I also know of a huge batch of explanation letters that went out as well. I'd rather just see checks, right? Why explain that? Why you didn't get it? So keep a lookout for those. If you're expecting uh, your direct deposit, check your mailbox instead maybe. But you know, we'll know by tomorrow uh, whether you'll get it in your account or if you should basically look in the mailbox. On to other news affecting all of us, the potential for that fourth stimulus check just got much, much greater. We're getting more news from those four stimulus checks. There's, they're receiving a lot of bipartisan support now. There's been a lot of debate over how much the pandemic assistance has improved the economy. It seems lawmakers agree on stimulus checks and how they help people on a more um, personal, intimate level. So there we go, one step closer to getting the money you deserve by bipartisan, both sides talking about how it provides a certain security blanket for people to feel like you know there, there's a baseline of support. Next up, we gotta talk about a surprise money that's coming in. We briefly touched on the bonus $8,000 by households that would receive if they had a dependent. Now, I'm not talking about a cat or a dog. Of course, they're dependent, you feed them. But we're talking about people here. Now, we know that the amount has been increased to 16,000 for families with two more dependents in their household. This is more or less a part of lawmakers plan to extend the child tax credit program, which got folks a max of $6,000. That additional $10,000 will likely become available in 2022, when 2022 rolls around. Now we've got to talk about the eviction moratorium. Um, Rep. Ralph Norman published his opinion on eviction moratoriums on uh, Fox News website. He thinks that the government may have overstepped and exacerbated the problem. That's his words, exacerbated the problems. Now, according to him, some landlords are paying the ultimate price. Quote, what's not getting enough attention in the debate is the financial devastation that's been brought to hundreds of thousands of small landlords. They aren't large companies with millions in the banks and the ability to negotiate with banks. You know, Norman said, let's know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'd love to know because you guys are all that really mattered to me. Finally, let's talk about two states with man ma uh, mass mandates, or rather the lack thereof mass mandates. School districts in Texas and Florida, the usual suspects, are having some disagreements over how their states are handling the new wave of the virus. These districts are mandating each teacher and student to wear their masks while attending schools, right? Educator Secretary Miguel Cordana um, sent some open letters to Governor Abbott and Texas Ron DeSante of Florida. The department standard with these dedicated educators who are working to safely reopen schools and man maintain safe in-person instruction. The Biden administration, eh, they've uh, been vocal of these two states in the past, right? Either this, earlier this month though, Biden said, I say to these governors, please help, but if you aren't going to help, at least, you know, get out of the way. So there you go. Teachers and local governments taking things into their own hands. Lots of rebels, right? Some people just fighting to fight, I guess. We're seeing a lot of people fight back against state rulings. And uh, also, it's good to see that people are, you know, working out in the favor of the people overall. Also, it's really good to see like the Raiders and Seahawks game. Basically, people could sit in the stands, no social distancing, wear a mask. Thank God no capacity limits at this point. Um, 
I'm glad to see that. I hope we don't go back to that. That's your stimulus check, second stimulus check, and your executive action and stimulus package for Sunday, August 15, 2020. The end of 50th anniversary of being off the Brenton Woods Agreement. Thank you for tuning in and for sticking around to the end. Please leave a comment with your plans for the weekend. I'd love to know also. If you go out and get all dressed up and uh, do you wear uh, lipstick under your mask? Just curious. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Uh, can you imagine if you're a lipstick company this last year? Woo, probably didn't sell much. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please stay safe out there. Take care. I love you. Pre-COVID, we were doing 120 cities a year on tour. Wow. And we have two tour buses, all wrapped in tequila. Ron has his own jet. To be honest, when I, I first bought your tequila, um, I bought it because you were your friend, right? That's why I bought it. We adapted and really started focusing on social media, focusing on our website, focusing on influencers. Uh, I guess 90 it, years? 90 years, yeah. Nine and zero. Nine zero. And that's 90 years of making tequila.